After discovering an AWS key pair in a firmware update for his eight sleep mattress in December, cybersecurity researcher Dylan Ayre did uh, I, uh, sure Dylan did some more digging and discovered that eight sleep engineers are able to remotely SSH into every customer's bed, which by the way contains a full Linux computer. And they can even run arbitrary code and not just from your local network. So cool. Dylan posted screenshots and code snippets on his Truffle security blog and noted that with this access, eight sleep engineers could know when you are sleeping, detect how many people are in your bed, <laughs> change your bed's temperature, change vibration and alarm settings, connect to other devices on your local network, and... <laughs> this is the kicker, do literally anything that they could on a normal Linux machine. I'm really glad we don't work with them anymore. Yeah. They have turned out to be absolute... Massive buttons. Doom cups. Um, <sighs> was it you who posted the that nine sleep thing? Yeah. In the, in the chat? Yeah, apparently there's... A, has it been abandoned? Uh, there was it like a, looks like maybe there's like a DIY like like hack thing where you go and you take the micro SD card out of your eight sleep pod and you can like overwrite a file and then uh, like manually configure it and stuff like there's no reason you shouldn't be able to do everything that eight sleep eight sleep does through the cloud locally other yeah. than just that they want to maintain control over the ecosystem. I have one. You can use it to tie into Home Assistant and stuff. Luke has one. I like begrudgingly have one. I like mine. They seem to make monster money. So maybe. No, they don't. They don't? No, they were in like financial trouble a while back. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well. Um, maybe it's because they're shipping everybody Linux computers. <laughs> maybe they should bomb down their product. I could be wrong. Uh, eight sleep has raised 86 million in series C funding. Hold on. What's this one? What's this? I just like, I want someone to come up with a oh, competitor. February, February, 2023. Um, okay. I don't know. I take that back. I take that back. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but, um, boo, boo, boo. addressed a leakage issue. I missed the eight sleep. Uh, they've raised over 155. Oh, their latest funding round was a corporate minority on June 24th, 2024. I don't know what that means. No idea. Valuation was about half a bill in July. Yeah. People are saying lots of embedded devices have embedded Linux for some reason. Yeah. I mean, that is true, but sure. Still, fair enough. Like, don't have a SSH backdoor into my house. Please. Yeah. Yeah, that, that thing that he said just now. So yeah, I'm not uh, not super into it. Our discussion question is, is it time for DIY water-cooled bed version two? Oh man, I don't want to. Can you buy a cover? Uh, um, yeah, you can. You can buy, you can buy just a cover. Oh, uh, like that's water-cooled? That I don't know. But like in terms of like duvets, you can get no, like, no, 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 no. Like yeah. the, the eight sleep cover, it's called a cover. Yeah. The part that straps onto your bed, not the pod. Oh, I I don't know. That's a good Cause question. Because if, if I remember correctly, when you guys made that video, the difficult part was the cover. Uh, no, the bed was hard. The, the cooling was hard. Well, the cooling was only easy because we had that chiller that we just happened to have. Most people wouldn't have that. But realistically, you don't need that kind of horsepower in your chiller. Not literal horsepower, but you don't need that powerful of a tr chiller anyway. Um, and something more akin to uh, what we made when we did the water-cooled gamer chair would be more than fine because like a, a couple hundred watts is lots to draw heat away from a, a sleeping person uh let me see if i can find it water-cooled chair yeah here it is oh apparently there is a competitor i've never heard of this oh my god i will come back to this once my ads are done i know nothing about these guys they might have the exact same problem i have no clue but uh, chili pad. Oh, okay. Sleep me. So I got a Grammarly ad. Grammarly is one of those companies that like I would never use for myself, but I absolutely believe that a lot of people should use. <laughs> uh, yeah. So here, this, um, this just little like Peltier element that I'm holding is 
is enough to cool one person. And that's basically what's inside the eight sleep. And then I was it just say, I thought it was kind of, whatever. it either runs to the hot side or the cold side, depending on whether it's trying to chill the mattress cover or heat it. Uh, and that's why it's so quiet too, but it's not very energy efficient, but because you're not actually trying to cool a computer with it, it's fine. You're just trying to cool a human, which is like, I think about a hundred Watts, um, at rest or something like that. It's not, it's not that much. Uh, anyway, not cool. Uh, how's this competitor look? I don't I'm know. On your screen. Um, when they were showing this animation, I thought it was just like a, a, a cool pad, but then you can see um, as the animation goes on, it's kind of pivoting away from it now. Oh, do you need one for each side? Interesting. So they, they show the cover coming down and then they show a little blue animation of like, look, it's plugged into this thing. Oh yeah, okay. Um, so there is some form of external heat cool element, but then I also see one on the other side. Uh, so maybe it's... One for each half the bed. Which honestly is probably fine. It's I mean, probably fine. Realistically, any like main bedroom layout is going to have a spot for two nightstands and, you know, like it's going to have two sides of the bed. Yeah. Generally speaking. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Looks like these are their options. Dock Pro. But yeah. So it comes with uh, with two of the things. Mm -hmm. Supreme Sleep Track. Does it, is it a subscription? I don't know. Me, half queen, me or we, uh, sleep week sale. Is it a subscription? Does anybody know? Yeah, so, yeah, the price jumps a bunch when you go to two people. That makes sense. Which does make sense. Uh, but I don't see any subscription things. They have a protection plan, but that's not a subscription. Yes, it has a $6 monthly subscription. One month of Sleep Me Plus. Yeah, I see it now. But does it work without it? Because I don't have an eight sleep subscription and yeah, you it works don't need like it. enough for me. Yeah, me too. All right. Well, realistically, it's probably not going to be that different, but who knows? Seems Maybe it is. pretty similar, but I don't know. It's a subscription, but you don't need it, says someone. Says Low Boom. So kind of same deal, I guess. Okay. 